and everything just works together perfectly. All the tones for the instruments that they chose were fantastic, and the mixing and mastering on this was top, top notch. Hey everybody, how's it going? I've got a brand new music video reaction slash review coming at you today. And this time it is for Tell Me One More Time by Jinishan. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, so feel free to correct me. I don't really know anything about this group and this is my first time listening, so let's check out the music video. Getting like an early 90s vibe. Listen to music like this from this era. Oh, so many Jordans. Oh, there's my favorite pair. So many throwbacks. You kids can do this. Oh boy, just my neck, but a new kicks. Charm fresh, I get all day. We didn't know when we're done. Hey, okay. Hey, yo. Owner Bam and Musum Bam. Owner Bam and Musum Bam. You know my charm. Pop, pop, pop. No, no, get out of here. Sushi, I'm young. Could it only not jump in here? Gina, shut up. Reminds me so much of Chromio, and this is one of the best like mix and masters I've heard in I don't know years. Extremely balanced, extremely punchy sound. Super clean and clear bass. I love this music video too. I can't tell, but that was awesome. I absolutely loved that song and music video. The mixing and the mastering was just on point, and I'm sitting in, you know, an acoustically treated room. I've got a pretty good sound system here for my studio, and this song is just making it all come alive, and the bass is, like, super tight and clear, not overdone or muddy. They don't have that obnoxious low-end boost that makes pretty much all subwoofers just resonate at the same frequency, regardless of the key of the song. And the track is mastered very loud, but it's not overly crushed, so you're not hearing many audible artifacts. So it's an incredibly pleasing, punchy, in-your-face sound. I also absolutely love the throwback music video, having lived through the 90s, through the Jordan era, 
all the shoes bring back a lot of memories and even though I didn't grow up in the 70s and the 80s I've always listened to tons of music from that period so it was really cool to see them do throwbacks to that as well and yeah there are just so many cool things about this song I was impressed with the group I was impressed with the rapping let's jump back in and check it out I really like the concept of like the car elevator being the time machine. The only thing that's missing from this music video, if you do a time travel music video, I think you have to have a DeLorean. Maybe it's like impossible to find one in South Korea, but come on, you gotta have the DeLorean, right? Everything else about this is just like perfect though. I love this 1975, I think they said it was set. It's kind of like an old school rap too. It's got a little bit more of a laid back sound. Um, definitely reminds me of the 90s. Late 90s too. An overall really funky sound though. Um, the backing track definitely has like roots in late 70s, early 80s funk. Uh, more of the 90s music except some of the synth sounds. And then the rap is kind of like mid 80s up to the late 90s. So it's like mixed influences but it works extremely well. I don't recognize this singer. You guys can tell me who she is. Actually, I do recognize her from somewhere, but I don't remember where. I was a lot more impressed by these two. Um, I think she's a good singer too, but she didn't really blow me away as much as these two did with their rapping. Um, so I'm excited to see more from them. I've talked about this a lot lately, they're changing things up from verse to verse to keep it from being like the exact same thing in verse 1 and verse 2. They did that extremely well in this song. The second verse has like a different kind of beat, uh, a couple dropout parts, and then back into the second chorus. Just keeps it interesting. It's funny how they've got this super tall guy wearing what I think is an Allen Iverson jersey. Those synthesizers really remind me of Chromio. Um, Chromio is one of my favorite current bands. Great build up here. A little bit of like Daft Punk too. Um, the sort of like squeal, heavy vibrato synths. That's definitely a Chromio, Daft Punk kind of sounding thing. And of course, they picked that up from a lot of 80s groups, um, classic funk. I also really like the go, go. That reminds me of a lot of stuff in the late 90s, early 2000s. And then listen to the bass. That is one of the coolest and most like funky, awesome bass lines and bass tones I've heard in a really long time. You have to dig really deep into like obscure funk to find stuff that sounds that cool. It's just a fantastic bass synth tone. And I'm just extremely impressed with this song and this group. Uh, one thing you might notice is that I didn't quite pick apart the little pieces of the song as much, and that's because the groove as a whole just worked. The drum samples, the bass synths, the sort of crazy, like, wild vibrato, higher synths, and then the really cool throwback rap parts, they all just kind of combine into this really, really solid groove. So in a song like this, I think there's a lot more value when trying to quickly analyze it and looking at the song as a whole and not trying to zoom in on one little particular thing because everything works together so well and the groove is what really makes the song and the groove can only be explained by listening to everything that makes up the groove which in this case is pretty much everything in the song even the vocals have such a strong rhythmic element that they add to the groove and everything just works together perfectly all the tones for the instruments that they chose were fantastic and the mixing and mastering on this was top top notch so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction slash review i think i'm gonna immediately buy this song burn it on a cd 
take it in my car and just go cruising around town because it's just that kind of song. It makes me want to cruise around with the windows down and jam to it. If you could like, comment, and subscribe to this video, that would be amazing. And if you could share it all over the place, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, forums, all that stuff really helps us out. And I'll see you guys next time.